Well, hey there guys. Today I'm going to be showing you my minimalist cloth diaper stash. We're actually starting in the laundry room because they actually happen to just be washed. I have two I think that are currently dirty right now. Um, but since they're all washed, I wanted to show you kind of our cloth diaper wash dry setup. We don't put anything in the dryer, just they last longer if you don't. So our diaper sprayer is in our master bath, which is right in there. That's our master bedroom. But we keep this wet bag right here, which when it's time to wash, we throw the wet bag in the wash with it um, so that it gets washed every time and then we just hang dry it. Um, so there is one in here and this is the one I just took off of Rennie and I put a disposable on her so you guys could see all the diapers. One in here is a lime green Alba baby and then this is a mama koala from their foilage line I think it's called. I'll put the name of the line on the screen. Um, so that's what that one looks like. This though is where we hang everything to dry. I won't name names but somebody was very nice and did the cloth diaper wash for me um, and put something else in the wash so it got lint all over them. Uh, but that's okay. So that's why you see like the little lint pieces. I have to pull those off. So I believe they're bamboo. I'll put it on the screen. But they're the Alba Baby Gusset um, inserts. You buy them separately. They come in like a pack of 12. They are by far my favorites. And then we just hang wherever there's free space all of the actual diapers. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these up. And we'll bring them over into Rennie's room. And I will show you guys all the different prints and the brands that we have. right there hanging out in her bed. I have a total of 16 cloth diapers. So I will say off the bat, we do not do cloth when we are out and about. I've been thinking about it possibly and I would definitely have to get at least, probably just one more pack of six if I did. But for just the use at home, we have 16 and it does work for us as long as I stay on top of doing laundry. I have to do a load probably every other day. Otherwise though, we're good and we have enough. So the three brands that I have are Nora's Nursery right here. I have Alva Baby and then I have Mama Koala as well. I of course will have links down below to the different brands for you guys as well. So I'm gonna show you guys the prints that I have and the inserts that I have for each of them and then I will talk about which one's been my favorite. So let's start off with Nora's Nursery. These come in a pack of four. All these are clean right now. So Nora's Nursery comes with bamboo inserts. These right here, they're super soft. I think that they would be my first choice if they had gussets. Um, these can be right up against baby's bum, but I prefer to put these and microfiber, of course, always inside the diaper. But with these Alba Baby gusset ones, I keep them on the inside purposefully because the gussets hold in any poop. Um, so it keeps the minimal poop from getting on my actual diapers as well, which I like. Hi. What's up? How are you? You're cute. So these came as a pack of four. Um, there's these little bubbles which are super cute this is what their little tag looks like then I have these bees and I think these are supposed to be like grapefruits maybe I'm not entirely sure um and then these are either lemons or oranges or I think they're supposed to be oranges Okay, and then moving on to Alba Baby, I actually have two Alba Babies that are dirty, so I have three cloth diapers currently that I can't show you. All of these that I bought are just solid colors. I think the ones that I'm missing are blue and a green though. So I have like a salmon colored pink one, a brighter pink one, then I have a red one, and I have a purple one. And then my favorite prints of all, Mama Koala. They tend to be a favorite in terms of prints for people. So this is the, I think it's the foliage prints. Little snake plants and greenhouses, super cute. This one just has a bunch of different type of foliage on it. This one has flamingos, I think those are supposed to be. And just kind of a uh, tropical print. Then this one has a bunch of cactuses on it. And then this one has like um, kind of palm trees. And these almost look like they have, maybe these are kind of supposed to be elephant ears and maybe like palms or something. My favorite prints are currently these two, um, but I'm newly obsessed with plants, so like that's not surprising. So in terms of fit and taking out how long your child can wear them, my favorite hands down is Mama Koala. I love these, they fit really nice and snug. Just when I put these on her, I feel like everything is going to stay in there and I appreciate that. Um, now, the one reason that they are not my overall winner and my overall winner is Alba Baby. Um, is because of their longevity. Now someone had warned this, warned me about this and it's definitely true. So with this one in particular, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten snaps across um, for fitting their waist and she has four snaps open in between. 
as opposed to these ones which have one two three four five six seven eight nine also ten but she only has two in the middle so i don't really see these fitting her past like two years old probably how you doing you good yeah you just talking <laughs> And then these ones I actually do really like. Um, and for me right now, they are even with Alba Baby. But one of you did let me know that their elastic doesn't last as long. Um, and so just going based off what someone else had told me, I don't want to say like this is my number one um, or that it's even because of the fact that I know someone else that has used Nora's Nursery longer um, said that they don't have quite the longevity in the elastic that other brands do. Um, so because of that, I can't put them even with Alba Baby. But I do really like the fit of these. Um, I know that size wise they should fit a while and I really love that it does not come with a microfiber insert. I cannot stand microfiber. Um, the Alba Baby ones come with these just plain microfiber inserts and then Mama Koala comes with these ones which are snap down so you can snap it um, dependent on what size your child is or if you need a little extra in the front um, if you have like boys. She's happy. She's just like blabbering away back there. Um, then you can go ahead and adjust to how you need it. But now that she's totally unsnapped rise wise, um, the Alba Baby gusset ones fit in any of these. So I just prefer those. Like I said, they keep the poop off of your actual diaper. It keeps it in because it has the gussets um, and it's just a lot nicer to touch <laughs> than having to touch the microfiber inserts. I really can't stand them. So like I said, 16 diapers for us is working at home as long as I stay on top of my laundry. Um, but I am considering maybe possibly doing it when we're out and about. And in that case, I would definitely need at least six more. Um, but I can't say for certain that I wouldn't get another set of Mama Koala. I think that I would get just a print set of Alba Baby. Um, but Mama Koala's prints are so cute. <laughs> They're hard to resist. I just wish that they had a longer wear. So the only reason I'm not totally turned off by Mama Koala is because we do elimination communication. Um, it's very possible that she won't need diapers after two years old. We've actually been staying on top of EC with her and the fact that she's not showing any signs of Ehlers danlos Syndrome like Airely does. Um, Airely has lax ligaments, so it's been very difficult potty training her, but she's not showing any signs at all yet. And she's been doing great choosing to hold her bladder and not leaking or having any wetness at all. Um, so because of that, like, I probably could just get another set of these and it would be fine. So those are all the diapers. I'm going to put them away and show you guys kind of our setup that we have over in her dresser though. So you guys can see how it's set up, what I use wipes wise, because I do use cloth wipes when we're using the cloth diapers as well. So this is her setup right here. You guys have seen her dresser in a different video before, um, but we have her changing pad there. These are the cloth wipes. I just got them off Amazon. Then we have this little diaper spray. I just shake it up real good and then do a couple spritz directly on her bum and then use that to wipe everything away. So this is just a homemade little spray. It's got witch hazel, water, lavender, and a little tiny bit of tea tree oil, tea tree oil and that's it. Um, I do have some regular wipes there just if she happened to have a disposal on or something. So and then the second drawer down here is where I keep her cloth diapers so they're just pre-stuffed. This is where any extra inserts would go which only will have, we'll only have like a couple of um, the bamboo ones from Nora's Nursery in there and so yeah, they're just kind of in there ready to go and then down here Is where I keep her disposables um, By the way, I'm holding her. That's why I had to use my foot um, And then the microfiber cloths, which I probably can just sell those well That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below and again I will have links to everything that I mentioned down in the description box for you and we will see all of your wonderful faces I'm assuming this is going up on a Tuesday, so then we'll see you on Thursday. Otherwise, opposite. If this goes up on Thursday, we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.